Welcome back everyone. Well, kind of a gloomy and dreary day here across Acadiana with most spots picking up anywhere from around, around one to three inches of rainfall. Some localized spots getting up to around four inches of rainfall. And unfortunately, we do still have scattered showers and the storms on the radar this evening. So if you have any Friday evening plans or heading out for some Friday night football, you may want to keep that in mind and plan accordingly. But thankfully, we kind of been in a drier pattern the last couple of weeks. So the rainfall we saw today, the ground was able to soak up most of it, at least no real issues out there. But still, all of us here across Acadiana picking up a pretty good wallop through the course of the afternoon with scattered showers and storms moving through the area in response to a pretty weak cold front that's advancing across Acadiana here. So really, we're going to keep the scattered showers and, the, and storms in the forecast at least through the next several hours. But now, uh, zooming in here to the local radars, you can see here in Lafayette still dealing with some moderate to heavy activity that extends also into our southern parishes as well into Vermilion and Iberia Parish as well, right along the uh, Highway 90 corridor, also along I-10. So careful if you're heading out on the roadways. And again, a little bit further to the west over toward Jennings and Crowley. Similar story, still dealing with the light to moderate activity. And for our northern parishes, things starting to settle down at least a little bit. The heavy sea activity now south of your area, but still light showers continue from, we'll say, Bill Platt over toward the Eunice area as well. And again, this will kind of continue over the next several hours as that frontal boundary continues to push off to our south, but does eventually uh, does that overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So I do think we'll see a little bit of a break in the action as we head into your Saturday, that front kind of washes out. We'll be waiting on another surface feature that'll be approaching from southeast Texas. So mostly cloudy skies throughout your Saturday. Graph model not indicating a whole lot of rainfall throughout the day tomorrow, but I still think off and on shower activity can be expected. We'll still hold rain chances at a pretty soft 60%. Not necessarily going to be raining all day long, but you are going to want to plan on seeing at least a few showers passing through the area. And then as we head into Sunday, that low pressure feature is going to be moving right on top of the KDM here so good bet to see scattered showers and a few hefty downpours first thing Sunday morning really best chance to see rain will be late Saturday night into Sunday morning and then that surface feature continues to pull off to our north and east and then by Sunday afternoon we'll start to dry things out and cool off as northerly flow starts to return to the region behind that surface feature so we'll be cooling off nicely with those temperatures settling back into the 50s and lower 60s now rainfall totals here as we go through Sunday again most of us picking up anywhere from around one to four inches of rainfall today. We could pick up an additional two to four inches as well as we head through the course of Sunday. And again, just like we saw today, localized higher amounts will be possible, especially as we head into Sunday morning. One or two of those storms could be on the stronger side. And again, your Euro European model picking it up as well as most of us here picking up an additional three to four inches of rainfall. So bottom line, uh, we could see some localized flash flooding. But again, thankfully, we have been more in that drier pattern. So something we'll just continue to keep an eye on here as we head through the course of the weekend. So pretty high rain chances for the rest of this evening. We will see some patchy fog developing a little bit later on tonight after the showers and storms clear the area. Low temperatures will be falling back into the lower 60s. And as we head into your Saturday, again, not necessarily going to be raining all day long out there, but mostly cloudy skies in place with on and off shower activity possible. Rain chances at 60%. High temperatures settling into the mid 60s. Heading into Sunday again, best rain chances will be Saturday night into Sunday morning as that surface feature moves right overhead, but then starting to dry out and cool off for Sunday afternoon. And then we're turning much colder for next week. We'll see those highs topping out in the lower and mid 50s for both Monday and Tuesday. Overnight lows in the 40s for Sunday night into Monday and then close to freezing as we start Tuesday.